Okay, I want to talk about autism and routines. This is typically how just one change can completely... Let's get into it. Hey guys, welcome back to the Aspie world. For those of you who don't know me, my name is Dan. I have autism, ADHD, OCD, and dyslexia, and I make weekly videos on this type of content. So if you're new around here and you'd like to learn more, remember to hit the subscribe button and follow me on Instagram and Facebook. So guys, what is going on? It's been a hot minute. It's summertime and there's so much to catch up on. I have been doing this vlog series um, about the, the move, my, my house move, and the fact that, like, uh, I'm going to get into it right now. Um, so I wanted to do a sit down video and just talk to you a little bit about, um, uh, about the whole thing and why it's important to realize change when it's happening um, uh, because there's you know, potential meltdowns that can happen. Now, before we get into it, if you haven't already, make sure you download my Autism Life Hacks PDF book, which is available from autismhacks.net right now, free from me to you. Let's get into it. Okay, guys, so I have um, basically, in, in we've been planning for a year or two to buy a house because we're currently renting a house and or an apartment spread over three floors as a weird shaped house. Anyway, and because of that, um, we've been looking around. So we finally had the opportunity and the chance and the um, and just being really blessed really with luck to, to be able to buy a house um, and it's gonna be uh, ready in October. Now, um, I'm documenting like the whole process of buying the house and all that kind of stuff and all the changes and, and this, the issues that come up with that for someone on the autism spectrum here on this channel. So don't forget to you know follow and, and subscribe so that you don't miss um, you know any of those videos. And one of the things that has been strikingly um, uh, obvious to me um, is a change in routine. Now it's a very small routine, like a one one tiny like change in my routine has really caused a massive um, ruckus, like a big big issue. Now. Everybody knows, and if you don't know, this is what it is. People on the autism spectrum really enjoy having um, routines. Routines are everything. So getting up, doing the same things, and those routines are everything because they are comfortable. And not only are they comfortable, they're also predictable. Because people on the autism spectrum don't like surprises, because unpredictability can cause a lot of issues and meltdowns. Like, say, you're planning to go somewhere, and then at the last minute you have to change. Uh, those kind of plans could really hurt somebody on the autism spectrum in a way where they could have a meltdown, right? And this is something that happens often. So, I wanted to talk about um, how the, the small change around me right now is really, really kicking my butt. So, we are moving in October 22nd, right? But before we get to October 22nd, we have to buy all the stuff for our house, which is like, we have to buy all of the furniture and everything in between. Um, and it's really crazy and um, it, it just it just is what it is. But in terms of, of um, buying all that stuff, basically the, the manufacturers said that you have to buy the stuff really, really early because there's like 14 to 16 week delays on all the furniture because of Brexit and then because of coronavirus and all this kind of stuff. So we've had to buy all our stuff way in advance and a lot of it's actually appeared here right now in the office and I'm going to show you right now I'm going to I'm going to show you guys right now I'm going to flick to my phone so this is what the office looks like you basically have all of these boxes here which is my kitchen and living room furniture this is a bench for our bedroom dog then you got all the other stuff there my musical instrument stuff to go in the garage and, and gym equipment and things like that um and it's just it's just crazy right and this is what my office view looks like so why is this a problem why is this different how has this routine changed well let me tell you about it um i had a beanbag and a couch in here the beanbag has been um give, uh, put in my parents house until we've until we moved because we needed room to put our boxes in here uh with all the new furniture and this isn't all of the new furniture by the way also the couch went because we bought a new couch and that's on its way. So sometimes I'd sit on the couch and make videos. Sometimes I'd sit on the beanbag and edit videos. But now I have none of that. And I come down to the office and it's kind of like even my wall with my like whiteboard on it on the projects that I'm working on is non-visible now. So I'm just like, what is going on? And it's so difficult because it really... Um, it really unmotivates me. It makes me feel very tired. It makes me feel very um, unmotivated. It makes me feel like I just have no focus. So I've been trying different things out. Now, 
back uh, a few months ago, I was contacted by this awesome company called Brillia. Now Brillia um, uh, are actually really, 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 but I always try to, to go for like more gentle options to help with things. Um, so Brillia uh, offered to uh, sponsor this video, which is really cool because I've been taking these uh, to help with focus and concentration. Now, basically this is a uh, homeopathic uh, uh, small kind of um, pill that just easily dissolves in your mouth and it helps with anxiety, restlessness, uh, stress, irritability, and impulsivity um, and basically that is exactly what I've been using it for so when you think about it I've been stressing out thinking oh my gosh you know my office and stuff like that but I'm staying more focused and, tr and and actually the change in routine as much as it is difficult to deal with I'm actually keeping focused and doing my work um, because I feel like I'm doing all the things I should be you know I'm exercising I'm eating well I'm taking Brillia to help just take the edge off that um, the anxiety and the stress that's involved with that now if you want to check out Brillia please do they're absolutely fantastic the company's great I, I take this and it works for me like anything else, you have to test it to see if it works for you. Check out Brillia because they are um, really, really cool. You don't need a prescription to get these. Uh, and they also have Brillia for kids and Brillia for adults. So you can typically choose which one you want for whoever's taking it. Um, it's basically safe. It's non-drowsy. There's no habit forming um, and it's easily dissolvable. There's no artificial colors or flavors or anything in it. It's really, really simple to use. You just pop it in your tongue uh, three or four times a day. And uh, after about a week or two, I, I said I gave it two weeks, I really started to feel a difference of, of getting my focus, lowering my stress levels, but increasing my focus, uh, that really helped me. So definitely check that out. But on top of using Brillia, which link is in the description down below, you can use my link to get hold of uh, the Brillia website and, and you know you can order some for yourself. Brillia offers 100% money back guarantee. And if you use my discount code ASPI15, you get 50% off any three month bundle one time purchases only. So that's kind of cool. All right. I actually have been using uh, green juicing. So I've been like green juicing to make sure I'm getting enough vitamins in. I'm trying to sleep as best I can, like getting a sleep schedule in and also eating at the right times. I found that that helps me uh, lower the, the stress that comes from the things that I can't control. So I can't control the change in my routine right now, but what I can control is giving my body the best things it can and helping my mind with things like Brillia or running and water and things like that. So I just wanted to do this video just to talk to you a little bit about that. Now, if you are relating to this in any way, like you have a kid who's on the spectrum or you're on the spectrum and you're dealing with kind of something like it's a change in routine, try to create a controlled environment with something else which will benefit, like I said, with taking supplements that might help, you know, or, um, uh, drinking enough water in the day, getting enough rest in the day, eating the right foods in the day, getting enough nutrients in, things like that. However, you can control the the small amount of environment in, to benefit you and your body, then the better the outcome is going to be, and the less stress and the less change in routine is going to kick your butt. So, that being said, guys, if you have any suggestions, pop it in a comment down below. Please don't forget to check out Brillia. They're super awesome. I really find some benefit in taking this, but again, it's up to you to test it and check it out for yourself. Awesome. Talk to you soon. Peace.